The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Trader Cobb Crypto Show. Hope you're well. Interesting day to kick things off. I'm going to start off with the news. The news, sorry, as I always do. Um, quite interesting. I, you know, now that I'm looking at this each day for the sole purpose of keeping you guys up to date with price and news, I find that um, I have a good chuckle from here and there uh, <laughs> about what's going on out there in the news cycle. So let's kick the day off with some Forbes news, shall we? Data show that Bitcoin could be going higher. Why is the price flat? Well, that is interesting, isn't it? That's all they have to say about that. Of course, there's a full article there, which I'm not going to bother reading because I couldn't care less. I trade what I see, not what I think, and certainly not what Forbes thinks. Not, not a bad publication. They certainly are. Bitcoin trades flat while altcoins tease bull breakout. And that's definitely something we've been speaking about quite a bit in this show and within the memberships. Um, my watch list has been very heavily traded against Bitcoin the last couple of weeks, and that's because there hasn't been any momentum on Bitcoin. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is just fine with me. You've got to know when to bank sats and when to bank dollars. And at the moment, it is sat time. Build that Bitcoin, baby, and get yourself to a point where you've got a bigger stack so that when Bitcoin does move, and I truly believe that it will, or even if it just retains its value, who really cares? Um, you know, we can move we can still make money while the markets move, while we know where to look. Court rules Qu Qu Quony exchange liable for reversing Bitcoin trades worth millions. Well, that's very interesting because I had that happen to me with a major broker in London about 12 years ago. They reversed a whole bunch of my trades because the market was getting was going to auction and their spread betting platform still let me trade it. So I used the level two to work out which way the market was going to come out and made a small fortune doing it. Then one fateful day, they reversed everything, and there went uh, lots of zeros, we'll put it that way. Anyway, Vietnam travel startup offers to pay for user data in cryptocurrency. Okay, that's interesting, nice and quick. Uh, use case of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, that's pretty good. Tying it into a legitimate business, that's pretty good. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin, whoa, we're going for the clickbait there. They don't say anything. They just put all the top 10 in there. <laughs> Privacy, cryptocurrency, Grin votes to fund third full-time developer. Oh, that's wonderfully exciting. Women, the cryptocurrency industry's final frontier. And that is in Mickey News, uh, something that we've spoken to those guys about because we have been pushing for more uh, articles about women. Sorry, not pushing for more articles about women. We have been creating more content about women for women. And of course, this week is Women's Week on the Trader Cobb website and across the podcast and across all of what we do. We want to empower women and let them understand that it is time, if they're not there, to get there. Because I tell you what, they will have bragging rights if they enter the market now, as opposed to their partners, friends, brothers, uncles, boyfriends that bought at the high of September 7th, sorry, the high of 2017. And look, we need more women in space. Trump price analysis, who cares? An Australian CEO reveals why she's hooked on crypto trading. Crypto exchange becomes sponsor of Premier League football team. Ad goes viral. That's a good start. That's a good thing for the exchange. I'll have to find out who that is. The Wolverhampton Wolves. Oh, Jesus, still in there, eh? Shot court ruling holds crypto exchange liable in Singapore's first Bitcoin trial and Quadriga CX window. CEO, mixed personal funds with crypto exchange. Well, that's the news across the world in our market today. Now, prices, Bitcoin has done nothing once again, but what we have got here is a big spike candle. Once again, we see um, it all happened in 30 minutes. We shot up to a high of above 4,000 and then a low of 38.70. One big whip and then nothing again. Someone's playing silly buggers and it doesn't really matter. The market was very sideways. It remains very sideways and it remains a market that I will not be looking to trade right now. I'm waiting to see also oh, waiting to focus on alts. Now, Ethereum did exactly the same thing, a very big spike there and nothing more. The market more or less has followed what Bitcoin did and it is more or less flat for the day. EOS down 0.45 of a percent. Stellar Lumen has had a wonderful little pullback there, 1.79%. Looking at this on the four hour, it is back in that cradle zone. I can't trade it against the dollar or maybe I can on Bittrex these days, but I'll have to go and have a look at that. I know they've got some dollar pair crossing in there at the moment. 
what I can see, however, it's got a, it's, it's, there's no trading opportunity there. The trend still remains up. Now he have rippled down 0.9 of a percent after bottoming out down around that 27.5 mark. So 29 cents and sorry 29.5 mark, a very big spike to the downside, pouncing right back up. Again, a very quick spike across the market. Now what I find interesting here is that if it's a, if this is a coordinated thing, it's happening across all of the top 10 at the same goddamn time. So somebody's playing funny buggers in there. I'm not sure who, I'm not sure how, I don't really care. That's just the way things are right now and I can't do anything about it. So it doesn't cloud my head. Litecoin is sitting there in its uptrend right now in the cradle zone at $56.85, up 0.78 of a percent today. Bitcoin Cash, the biggest gainer. Nope, I'm wrong. It's up 3%, it's not the biggest gainer. It's still very sideways. Binance sitting up there around those old highs and uh, holding its ground. Nothing too much to add to that realistically, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very sideways market at the moment over the last couple of days. It's not really done a great do uh, deal. Between that sort of $14 and $15 mark up to nearly $16, not a great deal going on for the time being. Tron is completely sideways. It is, however, up 1.14%. Cardano, the biggest winner or the biggest gainer of the day, up 3.5%. But I must say across the market right now, it's it's looking for a hero that is against the dollar. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm trading against Bitcoin. I'm going to write an article today. I'm going sorry. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a video today out there to show people what the best trades of last week were, so that you guys can see what we're doing within the community. So guys, make sure that you go ahead and register for the free subscription. It's just very simple to do. Go ahead to tradercob.com and you'll see there as soon as you hit the homepage where you can put your details and you get two videos per week from me or my team and uh, we'll make sure that you know what's going on. Have a great day guys and a great weekend. Bye for now. The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain.